looking for that damage dealer. Be an Booker. Skip time off PA with mid PA, uh, and it was mid one playing. Both mid one and MP do play Invoker got who takes the first um, round. Probably mid one? Yeah, mid one. It, it seems mid one's going to be playing almost the mid lane well, for the most part, and then MP will be playing like, the safe lane role, so it looks like mid one will take the Invoker, MP on the PA. But. He's gonna be trading blows a lot of us, like, though. He'll get you out of the HQ. Yeah. You know, it was almost a year ago that we were doing uh, the first qualifier hub, and you yeah. went early and you like, hey, four men, four men goes there, but five to change. That we came with like over. seven mangoes, I remember. The action sub play for a lot of secure. Ain't done for it. Oh, homie. Yeah. Mangoes. But still drop. Unable to fight in the counter kill. Like, it does end up getting caught here. Kanka, handy back in reserves. Props to TP reaction for the PA. And he quickly canceling that one instead of being up KP. It's a pump fake from him. The time walk out. Monolink bringing him lower and lower on the pool, but unable to completely control. Instead, they turn back for Kanka. The Kant's Edgar pokes. Adding up combined with Illuminate. Only level one does some, some damage. The move on to Kaka. MP will find the kill. KP need to turn it up. Highlight right back. But the time MP is absolutely fine. And a cloud of blood again. Secret find their second kill. Making it 3 to 1 overall is the PA effect is fully in force. Yeah, newbie just playing just the Nags Rush, but I think Blink is always very useful for the hero. Midas is always an odd consideration because you benefit so much from the levels. I would like to see perhaps a Midas Rush this game, but uh, the X is also really strong. Good setup mid, but guess who's waiting? It's KP. I'm a if he's gonna go in with the oh, Rogue of four heroes! This is perfect with Kaka coming through! The boat sucks! Hammer! Did he turn it in the X? Dragging back mid one, two is two. Lucky not so there's more in the process, and, and it is three. Four of his next two will fall. Oh, KP, a masterful bit. And very bold by secret, I have to say. That. With tier one up, no vision up the hill, they run up the cliff, easily into the void with all the open strategy. That was a risky maneuver, and they will maybe with a fourth life here. MP gets chased, the, the stun comes out from the sweat, follow up is there, and secret get completely roundhoused, and that will immediately remove their entire advantage. But man, do they have map control, and especially the ability to just dominate creep equilibrium. Yeah. The Deso is where PA gets super... The Deso and level 11, those two things combined is where PA is super scary. The double dagger is actually a max threat. Mid lane. Cut from behind. There's a two arrow for Molten Sign. Chunking Secret low. Can he finish them off? The help of the OD is there. S3C almost did. He ends up dropping the board spirit. Oh, that combo. I will be the third man down. Insta buyback because they want to move in here. They've got 4F. The back line but they got the jump on him. Dunks him. Almost finishes him off. Instantly gets off the carapace though. Could turn this fight face. They to barely keep it up alive. What a beautiful fall the promise. He won't even die in KP. Try to time walk is out to the high ground. And now they've cut out MP who wants to help his team. But man, it's costing them further. Big four dead with my puppy. This could be a dieback. It could be five. Oh, the lag is strong. But newbie, newbie, they're stronger. They only lose an OD in the end. And all right, we're gonna try to reconnect again. My God. Do nice. So up has been the like, oh. game changer for newbie. Uh Oh, I said free, but Seeker, they've got other ideas. The stop connects on both carries. Is there follow though, KP? Just waiting here off the side, Secret. They have not seen him yet. He's in great position. Set up onto mid one, but he wants the multi-hero chrono. Tornado has a fish. The chrono now connects. Is there a counterplay? Bob coming through. Send blinks over the top. BKP onto MP. Slaughters the PA. <laughs> Where's your crit now? He says and turns back for mid one. It's a group up and beat down. Area was newbie. Oh no, he's on the cliff. They both on the cliff. Oh no, they both got on the cliff. Oh, that's a that's cool stuff being made in China. Screenshotted for posterity. Yeah, but it happened that's after cool the stuff and newbie blink. Take it anyway. From here, but he yeah. has the BKB. Teammates could arrive in. The nice blink out. Or up, just yeah. creeping in with the Aetherland stun. On I believe the there. the low should also get rid of the Echo Stomp. I'm I'm not okay. entirely sure, but I think it, it should. It purges off the sleep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Fine for Evan. The bottom lane, Nyx is actually caught out here, puppy. 
the back away, the BKB committed now as S3C moves in a bit deeper. Mid one though, wants to turn this thing around now that the Chrono's been committed. And meanwhile up in the top lane, Keeper of the Light just tries to shove lanes out. Sven is still there for the time being. Unai being thwarted a bit here in his effort to assist the team. KP now getting caught out. Time walking up to the high ground and a perfect prediction. Sunstrike is one. What a shot from him. Cuts the void down where he stands. My god. And you're probably thinking, oh, Newbie's stopping in this game, but by no means is that really the, the case. Secret have a ton of abilities to install this game to the late game and give Newbie problems as Sven will just get kited in these fights once he's down to a five second BKB. And once you get kind of the items up like four stars, it gets very challenging. Oh, this is the hero that can't die though, guys. Oh. They found mid one. They Listen crack right. him right open. X is going to set yep. that up after breaking the Lincoln Spear. And Newbie, showing that if you are out of position, you will be punished. Travel on Tunka, or uh, sorry, on Sven. Uh, this team does start to get quite mobile, considering they're they're not that mobile naturally, but they're itemizing to, to deal with the Invoker split push. And now, and moving forward, they just had eyes on mid one. They know about where he is. Are they going to risk it with the Chrono? They found him. KP cages the mighty wizard and see you later, sir. He says, but the real MVP, the ward. <laughs> Absolutely, it's one of those games where. MP uh, mid one is gonna like, catch up, pick up like that. Like it's like, oh, he's off on his own. He's getting caught out. Like he's making mistakes. But that's how this game is gonna go down. The mid one is always gonna be off by himself. And for newbie to win this game, they're gonna have to get those pickoffs. For secret to win this game, he can he needs to get picked off as little as possible and just continue to drag this game out. So it's really this game of cat and mouse between mid one and the entire newbie team. Feels like even more pressure on mid one's shoulders as we go later and later here. Phantom Assassin MP now has to deal with an MKB on Sven and not to mention, oh by the way, there is an OD in this game who is gonna try to hurricane fight forward and engage on the puppy, just starts to chuck him down, drops the ult, KP watches it happen. Uh, he's like, I wish I could help here guys, I am lacking my Chronos here, nice BKP, dodging the storm bolt, but still they've lost three. Newbie in the driver's seat now as they will blink back to work on the tower. They're gonna hammer that thing down. They still have not strength here for the high ground siege. The BKB available. Gods, they're going for it. And there is yeah. not a buyback available here. As Stan says, hello, sir. Uh, goodbye, sir. Highlight like died down. U9 looking for a bit more. Oh, mid one, don't die. Not nice too far for the crits, but KP just gonna walk it off. And we're just at that state of the game, guys, where MP can't burst anyone. Yeah. You can't afford to lose these supports as much as it sounds like they're not doing much. ET Cuddle are the ones stalling the high ground and NP gets annihilated. The NKB just tears through it. Another one bites the dust and now the boat comes through, connecting on mid one. Or the BKB still, even so, basically losing the right click war here against the OD, even though the orb couldn't be activated and now as the BKB wears off. Oh, they do manage to find a kill there, bringing down the OD. Decent hold from Seeker, but they need a lot more than this. U9 is going to be purged up by the Oracle. Still has the Satanic available, only hits the creep once, then blinks away. Tornado coming through, trying to clip Faith on the way out. But they got to find a bit more. PA had to buy back for this, and they lost their melee as well. Looking for something. It is going to be Faith they isolate, but that's not really the hero they wanted. They were hoping for something sweeter. Haste of the Sven. They won't have it. AP also making it out. And now, see, like, by the surprise factor of this item, but he still needs to be careful. He's shadow bladed into the Roche pit. Sentries are nearby on the keeper. Oh, they dagger the Roche at KP. They know he has it. They don't know where he is. The stun comes down. They got the vision in time. Oh, timely sentry there by Pi. That could have been real ugly if he didn't drop it. That's, That's right. no buyback, too. Coming through as well here, but the real objective is this big old rock. Blanking and trying to set up there. Oh, uh oh. Say hello to U9. One down. Could be two. Mid oh, one trying to make it up. The cleave just barely missing him. This Finn is big. He's bad. He's difficult he's to deal with. And the meatballs get a miss. Mid one could be in trouble now. U9 just running at him. They can't deal with the Finn. Even though he's out of mana. Even though he's slowed down by the ice wall. He's so damn tanky. He's hardly losing health. And Akka's going to arrive. Breaks the Lincoln Spear. Where's the follow up? OD coming in. Cracks open the BKB. The hammer gets dropped. Breaks down one. Blinks on the pie, it's a triple for 9 in the pit. They just can't be stopped. Sunstrike, good pick off there, but it's not enough. They've lost their Keeper of the Light as well. 
four falling. Mid one had to buy back for that. Expensive gods, and even mm. after all that expense, they still win the run. A die back from the Nyx as well. The uh, underground mode. Whoa, you blink out from extreme distance. They oh, blink oh. up, and no one's even at the tower. That's the beauty of this secret high ground defense: is they've got such long range on everything. Nyx ate the lens. MP with long range stifling daggers. Invoke it. Forward spirits he can send out. Coddle blast. Et spirits. No one even has to go near the tower to defend it. Yet U9 can't get it. O9 is not quite enough of this. He goes in to hit the tower. Meanwhile, S3C just diving deep behind enemy line. Kicks in. He finds the triple ultimate with the chrono set up. Is the follow up going to be there? Sven unable to initiate in time. He does come in, but it is right as the chrono ends. Not the best follow up not for that so chrono. Well. But can they at least bring down the tower during this time? The meat ball slowly rolling through. They managed to eviscerate KP. O9. Satanic available, but BKB down, has the buyback if needed, top lane getting chubbed in, S3C is low. Sven may have to back away, will they be able to kill off the OD? Oh, back to safety, S3C alive for now, Hurricane Pike back even further, Kaka able to pull him out. Ooh, 9 though, may drop, will drop, Secret finding picks. They X4 if they're going to drag him back a bit further while mid one hunts for more. So Kaka will escape. <laughs> Perhaps as well as 3C will. Mid one, if he chases up this hill, could easily die. No real improvements to be made. And that also means they're not carrying Aegis, which yeah. uh, limits your options for a, a safe siege. Unless they want to drop something like a blink and just, you know, BKB hit the tower back away. But Nubia have other ideas. They want to find pickoffs. They strut down the mid lane. Kaka out in front has the blink. There's the initiation. Ooh, nine, three shots, almost two, and Puppy's down and out. Oh, I need another. He's down to second one. This is the kill. If they can bring them two, it might be enough for us. Gets real back in, and then KP is there. He finds Chrono, and it's okay. He gets Puppy on the buyback. Could be enough, but the meatball is there. Nubi, though, with the BKB, survived through it, and now chase forward. Ooh, nine walks right into an ice wall, and then backs away immediately. But S3C going in even deeper. Four steps, tightening out that PA BKB. Good defensive Astral's MP is going to run out of uh, his invulnerability. Ability soon, and now they look for a bit more. X comes through, KP jumping in, Sunstrike, uh, waiting to miss there. MP trying to cover the path of mid one's retreat, but it's not gonna happen. Sven finds the angle, he gets the two heroes, son. Sayonara to the invoker, out for 110, and Secret lightly down to the lower bracket. There's the GG of Group A. Seems like they still got some work to do, gods, but you gotta give Newbie credit. This is a fearsome team with a pretty decent hero pool already. Yeah, they, they play a lot of a lot of different heroes, very hard to draft against, and they, they mess up a bit with that previous high ground push, but I think they realize, look, we gotta find a pickoff first. We go once we get that kill, that pickoff, wait, wait for it, and then 